Hello creators. Today we're going to look at what's new in Canva. So for starters, you're going to notice that Canva has gone dark. Now, if you want to switch to the dark theme, you just have to head over to your icon here at the top right corner, go into your account settings. And then as you scroll towards the bottom, you're going to see themes and then you can switch between light and dark. Now, if you're on mobile, you simply have to go to your settings and find the same theme settings. The next thing we're going to look at is on the desktop app. This is the downloadable app that you can use locally. Now, if you've never heard of that, I'll leave the link in the description below. One of the additions they've made is uh, what they call tabs. Much like browser tabs, you can have tabs now for like creating different workspaces. For example, I have this project open here, but I can also add a tab here and start a new video, for example, and start working on that. So if I click on this, but then I can go back to this tab. Maybe I'm working on uh, two similar projects or borrowing one graphic from the other. I can easily switch between my tabs here. If you don't have the tabs, chances are you have to update your desktop app. That update button should be on the right corner if it's available. Next, we're gonna talk about brand kits. Now, one of the things that people wanted with brand kits is creating multiple brand kits, and now you can do it very easily. Now, if we find the brand kits down here in our menu on the left, just click on that. So if we look under brand colors, you see I have my colors here. And if we click on the three dots here, now you're gonna see make a copy. So I can make a copy of this. I can edit this to something else. You know, I can rename it and I can change these colors to whatever it else that I want to add, right? So now you can have multiple branded colors to make your designing a little more seamless. The next feature we're going to look at here is found under presentation. And these are small features, but well worth mentioning. So what I'm going to do here is click on present. So if I hold on to you, it's going to bring down this curtain so that, you know, you can start off with a curtain call. So if I press you again, it's going to reveal the slide. Then the other shortcut key is M. If you hold M, it gives you a mic drop. <laughs> That's right. You've got a mic drop. Two kind of fun uh, shortcut keys for presentations. Next, we're going to head over to elements. And if you search for tables, you're now going to find some built-in tables. This was a highly, highly requested feature by many of you. As you see on the left here, there's some pre-made ones as well. But if you click on it, you see you have some features here at the top. You know, you could change the colors within the cell. Then the next option here is the actual border style and color. Then you also have this option here is the table spacing. You bring it to the right, creates like a frame border and of course cell spacing adjust that as well. If you hover over the table and right click, you'll reveal more options to add columns, delete rows, everything that you would do in something like Microsoft Excel. There's also two new video features that I want to show you really quickly here. I have three slides here that are very similar, but they have the elements located in different places. And why I'm doing this is to show you the new transition. So I'm going to add this here and you see it says add transition. We're going to click on that. You're going to see this option called match and move. And what this does, it transitions all the similar elements and moves them in a seamless way. So I've got three variations here. We're going to apply between all pages, the same transition. I'm going to go ahead and play this and watch how the elements transition from one page to the other. Really cool. So it's kind of like an animated transition. Now, the second thing with the video regards to audio, they added a way that you could fade in and out your audio. So if we add some music, I'm just going to look for any old music here and drop it in here. So I'm going to go ahead and play it. So it just starts and that's what we want. But what if we wanted to fade it in? If you click on the audio down in the timeline here, 
you're going to notice audio effects, right? So if we click on that, now we have a fade in and fade out section here. Now, obviously, if you had two different audio files for two different clips, you could fade them in and out of each other. Unlike before, where it was uh, just an abrupt start and stop. So this, again, very handy feature. Now, the very last feature that I want to bring up is called Sites. And although this is beta, this is a way where you can create websites in Canva. Most of the templates you see here are just single page websites. So if we pick one, let's try this one here. This can act as your home page. Now you simply just have to search for it, pick a template just like I did, and you're going to get this pop-up. And go ahead to click try it for free. I'm assuming there's going to be free and pro templates. To be very honest, I've just started playing around with this. I believe you can get a domain on Canva, but again, I'm just kind of starting off with this but let me know in the comments below if you want me to look into this further and i'm going to try it out i'm going to try to develop a landing page for my own site but i believe the idea is that you can host directly on canva as you see here there's a publish as website button here and obviously just like anything else in canva these are customizable you can change the colors give it animations change the pictures and all that stuff but I feel like a feature like this needs its own dedicated video. So let me know in the comments below if you want to see that video. Now, if you're like me and you're a content creator and you're often making thumbnails, make sure to check out this video where I cover some basic concepts on thumbnail design. So until the next video, my friends, get out there, hit record, create, and I'll see you when I see you.